the seat of power of modern India. Standing firm and magnanimous on this very Raisina Hill. An amalgam or the melting pot of a diverse, complex and a composite country. From the seat of power to the streets of business. A river flowing across its broken margins to the infrastructure of ferrying and carrying the lives of its nearly 1 crore 70 lakh residents. Delhi has seen rapid modernization in the last seven decades after independence. Predating several kingdoms and civilizations, the first remains of humanity in a civilized form could be traced back to 3,000 years ago. Harappan remains in the form of pottery and dishwares found in Mandoli, Bhorgar, Kharkhari Nahar, and Macholi provides us the testament of life and a civilization in historic Delhi. We of course don't know how the life was and what the people who lived in that era spoke or if there was any ruler of the city. But the story begins to shape in a narrative and gets little clear as we march nearly 1600 years ahead. generations later, Tomer rule ended as Chauhans took over the sparse land and very soon the Mamluk Turks invaded and set their kingdom. Bilandeo or Anangpal Tomer ruled Delhi around 7th century AD, following which many of his clansmen continued to hold sway over Delhi before being displaced by another Rajput clan, Chauhans. Writing in the 14th century, legendary Amir Khosro described the reign of Anangpal Tomer, the first king of Delhi, who ruled this land around 7th century AD. 